more than that. You won like 16 from DM, and then whatever from melee. Hopefully 20. Hopefully exactly 20. <laughs> SDI out of that. It's so easy. Like, I'm bad at SDI and huh? Like, yeah, I'm like. Can you go back to the melee bracket? Like, I'm bad at this game and I'm shit at SDI and I can do that. Oh, wait, is that PM? My bad. I didn't realize we were that big. What is actually going on? Why is this our grand final? Huh? What happened? <laughs> is this collusion? I don't know. Is this collusion? No. I mean, if it's recent, I can keep going. I'm not paying these guys, I'm keeping it myself. <laughs> Oh, that was a meal point? No. Okay. Okay, so it looks like they're actually playing a real game now. I matter so. Nana's got those jabs. Yeah, it's, ah, you didn't see the sticky pose. 
I'm like... It's not my fault that can't read it. There's only so much I can do about that. is like bad floaty fox. Also, I'm liking this hat. Party hat. It's party time. No, it's not the party hat. The party hat's the only good hat. Is wear... party hat even in melee? Yeah. It's a blue no, it's not in brawl. That's it. That's where it's gone. It's not brawl. No. It's weird. Party hat's gone. Now you have goggles. Oh, Speed you goggles. I feel like this is collusion. What do you think? It's definitely something. But it's not our fault we're letting it happen. <laughs> Just DQ them both right now. Yo, I'm keeping their money. You, you both get like a 35 35 payout. Leave. Oh, they're getting 0 0 payout, and I'm getting 7 percent payout. 90 percent payout. But do you only get 10 percent the third? Oh yeah, duh. I did you just see that? He just thundered on the top platform and hit them both because uh, Foy jumped into it. I like that Foy doesn't really wobble. I mean, okay. Respect for it. You, you've heard Wobbles is uh, what he says about Icy's players and wobbling, right? What did he say? He says low-level Icy's become mid-level Icy's when they learn to wobble, 
And mid-level ICs become good ICs when they stop wobbling. <laughs> yeah! Because the thing is, yeah. is like if you look at top level Icy players, most of them don't wobble off the bat. Ice, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, Fly doesn't really do it. I think Fly just doesn't do it because he never really learned to do it. He's just bad at doing it. Wobbles hates doing it now. I think this is he doesn't play seriously anymore. No, it's because he, like, felt really shitty in tournament when he did wobble. Really? Not because he was wobbling, but because of like when he went in with the mentality of I'm gonna wobble, then he had the mentality of I need to win, and then when he didn't do well, he felt shitty. He did pretty well at Evo. Yes, he did. Um, and then Judat, Judat like is a weird mix of it, where sometimes Judet, he'll just wobble, he'll wobble, he just he'll wobble the whole can... set, and sometimes he won't wobble at all. Judat just wobbles you if he doesn't play you. It's basically how it is. <laughs> he likes West Balls though, and he wobbled West Balls the whole tournament in Big House. So I, I don't even I don't even know. Just whenever he feels like it. Yeah, no, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Who did he get picked up by recently? <laughs> mortality, I think. Is it mortality? No, curse is no, curse is around. What was okay, what was uh chillin on that's gone now? Oh, hungry but no, they're in curse now. Him and hungry bugs. What were they? They were picked up by somebody. Was it Team Liquid? Huh? Was it Team Liquid? No, yeah. no. Liquid merged with someone else, though. Yeah, Liquid and Curse are a thing now. So, Hungrybox is with Curse now instead of Liquid? No, no. One of them's gone. They, one bought, one company bought the other out. That's what Yeah, happened. I think Curse bought out Liquid. No, Liquid's still around, because I know that Ken and uh, Korean DJ are still on Liquid. Are they? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't know why they got the old school players, but it's kind of cool. They got all the documentary players first. And now nobody hears their names anymore. Um, Ken doesn't do much, but Korean DJ will come out. He does still win pretty well stuff. I thought he like retired. I mean, he just goes to stuff. He goes to regionals basically. If they're close to him, he'll go to the regional. And that's about as big as he'll get. I think the last time I heard Korean DJ's name is when he lost to Gravy, and that's only because Gravy like lived in Rochester at the time <laughs> and the reverse force. Pretty sure it's the last time I heard his name. Why would Floyd stay icy? This is on a related note. Why the hell is Floyd doing so well? I don't know. It's Macy's Peach. I know. That's what, this this is like <laughs> one of the few actually 90-10 matchups in this game. Yeah. Like it's actually that bad. Funny enough, I don't know what to do in this matchup because we don't have any ICs. Yeah, you don't have any ICs because you ban wobbling, so all the mid-level ICs actually just left. We don't, we don't ban that. Anymore. I know you don't, but you did for a long time, which was stupid. Uh, if everyone else allows it, you're wrong. I don't like that. Because Jungle Guy did the same thing. He made a giant post about how wobbling is so bad for the game, and then he allows wobbling in his tournaments. It's a necessity. Also, I don't think that wobbling is the end of the world because it's a mentality of don't get grabbed while what. It is a guaranteed kill for Ices. With other characters, they are very similar in the sense that they're either going to grab a, a ton of damage or kill you on a grab. Like, theoretically, if I grab you, you should be dead for that. But yeah, it doesn't but always work out that way. The thing is, is like, Peach, Peach is going to at least get the down smash of the Nair, depending on what she does. And then, uh, if it's a fast fall, she's just going to chain grab you. Sheik's the same way. Where it's just either gonna get like the fair into a kill. Falcon's going to start attack chase. I gotta watch this again. Yeah. Come on. I wanna go home. <laughs> like that's that's my mentality on like wobbling, why it's okay. It's just because it fills a very similar role of if you get grabbed, you're dead anyways. And the thing is, is even if Icy's didn't have Wobbling, they're, they still have a way to kill you off a single grab. Yeah, well then, uh, it's, just, uh, it's not melee. It's not the spirit of melee. It's a Although, they're just kind of going away with people trying to optimize everything. And 20xx, Fox. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, the optimization is more just that people are like, oh, this character's not good enough anymore, and then the other people are going, no, you just haven't done enough with them. It's more like it just stops you from being able to play the game. You don't have to interact with them when you're just wobbling. Which is what I don't like about it. I mean, it's totally interactive. If I want, I can sit there with you, and I can just, like, clap my hands slightly off beat. It never works. <laughs> No, I heard, I don't remember who I heard it from, but uh, I think Stins might have said it, where he's like, yeah, some Ices players will, like, practice with an offbeat metronome. That's pretty nuts. I that's, can, that's, that's a really good idea. That's, that's like, that's respectable. Yeah. Why are we still watching this? I don't know. Why, why don't we just, like, ban them forever so this never happens again? <laughs> We're gonna ban No, then, then we'll have your grand finals again. Fuck that. <laughs> That was some high level melee, right? Actually, no, it was. I can't even say it was high level melee. So bad. Like, you're, you're giving me shit for, like, oh, the tournament ran ever. I'm like, the tournament was almost done before Grand Finals. <laughs> it was do almost midnight, and we were yeah. almost done. And then you threw a whole set. You got 3 0'd. Hey, and it was a 3 0, not like a 3 2, and then another 3 2. The yeah, but you got 3 0'd, and then you were 2 0, and then had to bring it back. I wasn't down 2 0. Yeah, you were. Was I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you were. You were. Go watch it. It's up on YouTube. Was I really? Yes. You made the 3-0 comeback. Huh. You were down 2-0. Oh. Yeah, Bread was about to take it 6-0. This isn't actually hard to get out of, and I can't believe he's getting popped in so much of that. Probably just not that much. This would be the best DI to get out of it. And it doesn't even matter which direction you SDI, both are right. They'll both get you out. Just SDI. If you if you SDI in front, you have to buff roll. If you SDI behind, you're pretty safe to do whatever the fuck you want. Is Big Omega just going like whoever he thinks is gonna beat Ices? I think so. That was really good though. That, Cause did you see what he did there? No. He down smashed with Nana and S smashed with Bobo. Okay. So it, it knocked him into the other and it said it was a really good knockback angle. I like Nana when she jabs and it's just enough to fuck up everything. <laughs> Oh, I thought, she, uh, I thought they had the jab reset. I thought there was going to be Oh. Oh, it's a dead Nana. Oh. Oh, he should, I don't know why he went for Popo. He could have gone for Nana. Because the thing is, the moment Nana's gone right now, it, that kind of is game in this matchup. Yeah. Well, on the upbeat, Nana has a lot of, like, invisibility. Nana kind of don't expect to be there. Oh, well, but by the time that has landed, also, yeah. like, Foy should have just won there. I don't know what he's doing. Why does he throw ice blocks at all? Do you know? I don't know. It's Foy. He's not an ice man. It's, uh, it's like... Shit, I'm tired. It's like someone who plays, like, no one plays, they don't play Falco. They still know you're supposed to shoot lasers off the stage. Eh, they're ice blocks. I don't know. This this matchup's gross. I would rather play Zelda in this. And when I say that, I mean I do play Zelda in this matchup. You don't like she guys It's gross. Is it bad? It's not. I mean, it basically just relies on a shit ton of auto canceled fares. Okay. The other thing is, is Icy's if they play even remotely defensive, make this matchup really hard. Floyd isn't doing that, but Floyd can make this a lot worse than it is. Yeah, I don't... It's, it's just weird to me. Also, is it a... 1-0 or 2-0? I don't know. I'm being really shitty at running the stream right now because I'm kind of out of it. Yeah, we both are. 
And I have to work tomorrow too. Oh, that's not it's good. not the 6 a.m. shift though, so I'm okay. Oh, that's good. What time do you have to work? 11. That's, that's not terrible. No. We're doing this. I've had the 6 a.m. shift after we've been here until it's like 2. Nice. I literally, I go home, I sleep for like two hours and just go to work. <laughs> this, the worst part about that is that wasn't even like using Nana at all. Did you see? No. It was all Popo down throws. <laughs> Nana was just there hanging out. Do, do you see those jabs? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what did he say? She doesn't know better. Alright, this is pretty disgusting. Have you ever seen PM Ice? No. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gifty catty that one. <laughs> you saw that, right? Yeah. He just ran off. Right, I think the fox is coming out. <laughs> what was that? Is it why? Is he just... Okay, I wasn't sure if he was just giving up or what. It was weird. Oh, music died. So who do you think we can get to become a T.O. for us? That regularly goes here. Alex, for like, a week. Nah, he doesn't want to run tournaments. He said that a lot, that he doesn't want to run tournaments. Um, honestly, Forrest might be able to help out if he, like, you know, could read times. If he could do what? If he could read time. Uh, yeah, times are hard. But for real, Forrest might be able to, although my guess is that he doesn't want to. Uh, I kind of want to get one of, like, the newer people in on this. No, I absolutely agree. I told you I need to groom someone as it is to do this. Yeah, I gotta find somebody to groom as a TO. Like, left to get unfortunately. I don't know what I did to convince him that I was a good TO, but I regret doing that, whatever I did. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know, why did he make you a TO? Because there was nobody else. <laughs> that, that's what you did. Yeah. You're the only person remotely willing. It's either me or, like, Flago. I... <laughs> Do you, do you really want to see Ryan running a tournament? I'm scared of what a tournament Ryan runs. You know what? Let's give him a test run. Next oh bi-weekly, Ryan runs it alone. You, me, Sean, and Chris, we're just going to play. Dude, we got to come up with a system where, like, we each get a chance to warm up. Yeah, no, I... NPM, I'm okay, because, like, I can go for a while without having to try NPM. But in... Uh, in melee, that it's not okay. And like every one of my first games on someone that I would normally beat pretty bad is like close. Yeah. And like all my sets, like people that I lose, I feel like I could have done a lot. Like my better. first game today was Sean. Like Sean, I'm usually like last stock with, so relatively close. But I'm gonna beat him every time. And I wasn't warmed up at all, so he just beat me. I, know, I almost like playing to losers with like no warm up at all. I wish I was doing it differently. We should get David in on this. Wait, who just won that? She did, right? I don't know. It was great. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure she did. I'm gonna assume she did. I think we can get David in on this. Spiritor? The, the dude standing up over there. Yeah, I know who he is. Um, what's his real name? I think it's, I think it's like David Johnson on the Facebook. Because I went to high school with him and I cannot remember <laughs> it. I know. Yo, know, I didn't know his name until like a couple weeks ago. And I've still never like called him by his name in his face. So I'm like kinda sure, but not really sure. Because I went to high school and I cannot remember it. <laughs> Isn't that so much worse? Yeah. I mean there were a couple people at MCC though that I went to high school with. It took me weeks to remember that name. It's like, oh that's Kyle. That's the British kid who lived right across from the high school. I don't remember his name. Floyd's getting buffed. So you hang out in the, um, um, the game launch in MCC a lot, right? You hang out in the game launch in MCC a lot, right? Yeah. You're like an Andy Nuon. 
Andy. Yeah, yeah, what the heck? I love Andy. Yeah, he's a pretty funny guy. I actually, I'm teaching his fast stuff now. Oh, are you? Yeah, I taught. I spent all of today. He likes PM though. I invited him, but he has tabletop stuff. But he pro he might come to UBS. That'd be really cool. I haven't seen that kid in like forever. What? Well, <laughs> what is he doing? Did you see how deep he went? Yeah. <laughs> also, just wondering, but like. For all competitive sense, wouldn't it have been best to like up be as high as possible so that you could gain your invincibility later? Like Fox is dead, you're not making it back to stage, but he's on the respawn platform, so you teleport up so that you come back and you have more invincibility compared to him. Like I feel like that's what you do. Yes, yeah, yeah. But it's probably not really gonna make any difference. No Yo, we can go home now. Alright.